Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at Quoteworks. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the integration between Zoho CRM and Quoteworks. There's a couple items I want to mention before we get started. First, this video is going to walk through using the integration with Zoho CRM. For instructions on setting up the integration, please refer to the Setting Up the Quoteworks Integration with Zoho CRM video or view Chapter 9 in the Quoteworks help file. Additionally, the Zoho CRM integration is available in the Professional and Corporate Editions of Quoteworks. However, the integration supports all Zoho CRM editions. Okay, let's get started. We're going to walk through the integration features between Zoho CRM and Quoteworks by using a typical workflow. This will enable us to demonstrate all the features and functionalities of the integration between Quoteworks and Zoho CRM. So to get started, we want to click on the Sold to Ship to tab in Quoteworks. This will bring us to the Sold to Ship to tab, which is where we select our contacts to pull into the document. To do that, simply click on the magnifying glass, and that'll bring up the Lookup Zoho CRM contact. You can search by account name or click on the drop down and search by name, phone, account phone, contact first or contact last name or the contact phone. So for our example, we're just gonna select account name and we're gonna search by our company, which is Aspire Technologies. Once a contact is located, it will be available for selection. So simply click on it to highlight it and click on the sold to button to pull that contact into the sold to fields. You'll also see their ship to and bill to fields available and you can pull that contact into the ship to and the bill to fields also or use the all button and it'll populate that contact across all three fields. You can also mix and match contacts so if you have a different location that your products and services are going to be shipped to or you need to bill a different location you can select those different contacts or those different addresses as well. For our example we're just going to use the same contact information across all three fields. Once you have your contact, you'll see an icon becomes available, which is a shortcut into Zoho CRM. This will actually display this contact in Zoho for you. So it's just a nice little shortcut there. So now that we have our contact, let's go ahead and click on our document items tab. This is where we would build the document in Quoteworks. One of the really great features of Quoteworks is we have the ability to organize our document visually for the customer. So if we right click, you'll see this edit menu appears and there's an option that says insert section header. So let's go ahead and select that. So we're gonna organize our document into three sections. The first one being products that we're selling to the customer. We're gonna right click again, choose insert section header. We're gonna do one for services. And then we're gonna do one more for optional items. This is just an example of how you can use the section headers. You can actually change these and name these however you'd like. If you wanna call it hardware and software and optional items, or if you maybe you have five or six section headers, maybe you're doing it by locations or a very specific product line you're selling. The options are endless for however you wanna handle this. This is just our example here to get started. So now that we have our section headers, we can start adding items to the document. To add items to your document in Quoteworks, very simple. Click on the products icon here. And this will open up the product lookup window in Quoteworks. On the left hand side, you'll see a list of all the available databases that you've set up in Quoteworks. If you have your items set up in Zoho CRM and you want to pull them from Zoho, we can do that. So we can actually select Zoho as one of our product databases, and then we can search by the item name, part number, or manufacturer. For example, if I wanted to search for a TV, I could simply type in TV and then find or click enter on my keyboard. And Quoteworks will search the Zoho CRM price list for any items that have the description word TV in it. And then from here, I can make my selection. So if I want to select this HDTV, we can select it and double click on it. And this will bring up the Add Item Assistant. The Add Item Assistant allows you to make some changes to the item, such as adjusting the quantity. Maybe you want to adjust the price. You can also check price history if you've ever sold this item to this particular customer. You can also check the price history for this item if you've ever sold this item to your customer previously. And then once you've made your selection, you can choose where you want to add the item in your document in Quoteworks. So for our example, we want to choose products and click add. And if we move this window here, you'll actually see it was added under my products section. So we can repeat that as necessary. So we're going to go ahead and just select a couple other options here. So we'll select just two more and we'll add those to the document. 
so now maybe we would like to add labor to our document as well. So let's go ahead and change this to labor and this will return back the results for my labor items. And again, simply select your labor item. Maybe you have two of them. Actually, let's select these two and then go ahead and add them to the document. If you've set up another price list in your document, you can also pull items from that price list. So if we select our item list database here, we could select maybe a wiring system and just a couple of examples and we'll go ahead and we'll add those to the document as well. Once you have finished selecting your products and services that you'd like to add to your Quartworks document, simply click on the close button to close out of the product lookup window. You'll see a list of all the items that you've added onto your document. All these items are now customizable, so you can make any adjustments that you need and it'll be specific just for this document. So for example, if I wanted to move, maybe we'll take our labor items here and we'll drag them under services and then we want this structured wiring in under our products and then we'll say these are two optional items. One of the really great features in Quoteworks is the ability to customize items on the fly using line attributes. So if you highlight one or multiple items like I've done and you right click, you'll see there's an option that says edit line attributes. The line attributes are kind of like a product or service definition of the item. It allows you to change specific features of the item such as is the item optional? So in our example, this is an optional section, so we want to mark it as yes and is selected. That just means that it's included in the quote total. When an item is optional, the customer will have the option of choosing to include it or not include it in their document. Additionally, there's some other attributes that make it really easy for you to control what your customer sees from you. You have the ability to hide individual items prices, quantities, allow customers to change quantities via quote valet, which we'll go over here in just a moment, exclude lines from the documents, print lines, so if you're selling items in a group or you just wanna make it seamless so that the customer is buying a gold package without seeing the individual items, you can hide those individual lines if you want to not display or display images with your items. And then if you have any recurring charges that you want to include in the document, you can set those as well. So we'll go ahead and click okay for our optional items there. We also have the option to adjust an item as necessary. So if you want to change an item's description, you can simply type in the description field and start making adjustments as needed, and it'll be specific just to this item. Quartworks also has the ability to group items together, and you can even run subtotals and running subtotals also. So now that we have our items in our document and we've made some adjustments so that we are getting close to sending this document to the customer, we wanna save our changes. So the save is important for two reasons. Obviously it's going to save your work in Quoteworks, but it's also what's going to trigger the integration with Zoho. So you'll see here when you click on save, this will bring up the save quote as window. This will show us the document name. The document number will be assigned automatically for you. So you no longer have to worry about tracking complicated document numbers. We'll mark the document status as open. And then we can also assign a project number for you as well. Down here, you'll see the Zoho contact integration where we can create or attach to a Zoho deal. And we can also create a follow-up call so you remember to follow up on this particular deal that you're creating in Zoho. So once you're ready, simply click OK. That'll save the document in Quoteworks. So you'll see there's our document name and then there's our document number. And then we'll be prompted to create the new Zoho deal. So you actually have two options. If you click on the drop down, you can link to an existing Zoho deal or select to create a new one. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new one rather than linking to an existing one. This will be the Zoho deal name. For our example, I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit so it's a little more manageable. So it's just gonna be the company that we're selling to and our Quoteworks document number. We can then set the owner, which is Quoteworks sales. Set the stage, so in ours, it's gonna be the proposal and price quote since that's where we are. We're gonna say first option is the type, probability date, and suspected closing date next week. Probability, and if you wanna set any kind of lead source or campaign source, you can. If you wanna include any notes about this deal that we're creating as well, you can do that also. Once you've made those changes, simply click okay. That will create the deal in Zoho and then prompt you to create the follow-up call in Zoho. So again, we're just gonna shorten our call description purpose. We'll say it's quote follow-up. It's gonna be an outbound call and we'll just put in a short description follow-up on quote sent last week. And we're gonna say this is a scheduled call 
and we're gonna schedule it for next Monday and it's for myself and we're gonna do 15 minutes before say we're gonna call right at 3 so we want a 15 minute reminder just so we're prepared and then click OK and then that'll create that follow-up call in Zoho so now that we've saved our document quote works we've created the deal in Zoho Typically at this step, we would get ready to deliver the document to the customer. But for this example, we wanna go ahead and make sure just everything went over to Zoho correctly. So one of the really great features about the integration is if in QuoteWorks you click on the links tab, you'll see we actually create shortcuts to this specific deal and this specific call that we created in Zoho from QuoteWorks. So we can actually click on this link here and this will bring us directly to this deal in Zoho CRM. So we can actually see the stage you can see has carried over, all the deal information, description if we had added one, and even the stage history. And we can even see if there's any activities associated with it, which there are, it's gonna be our call, follow up for next week. So it's a really great feature to make it easy for you to go back and forth between the two programs without having to do a lot of searching. Okay, so everything looked good there. So let's go ahead and send this document to the customer. So we're gonna click on our deliver icon here. We're then gonna start just going left to right, click on our cover page, select your cover page option. If you wanna include one, you can change it from clicking on the drop down. Click on the layout tab, select your layout. We've got ours selected. If you wanna include an additional layout option, maybe like a solution summary, so you can summarize what's being purchased, we can do that as well. Literature documentation, this is where you can include any terms and conditions, warranty information, service contracts, maybe an about us about your company, anything that you want to include as additional documentation to this quota proposal, you can select it here and it will be added to the document. If you have any spec sheets that want to be included, you can include those and anything from the links tab that you may have added earlier, you can choose to include those also. Once you're done building your document and making your selections simply click on preview just to make sure everything looks good in the PDF version of the document so after your preview loads you'll see your cover page information here uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit so it's a little easier to see so we have our cover page document then we have a little introduction about the document as well then we get into the line item information. You can see where those section headers are really, really useful. It makes it really clear and easy for the customer to see exactly what they're purchasing. So what's under products, what's under services, what are optional items and a total. We even have our solution summary here, which shows the investment. Anything that might be recurring would be broken out for them as well, as well as any shipping and tax estimates on the document. And then we even have our support agreement or services contract in here so that the customer can review that. So you can easily send this PDF over to the customer and it's a pretty common way. However, we're gonna send this document via Quote Valet. And we send it via Quote Valet by closing out of the preview and then choosing Upload to Quote Valet. Quote Valet is the online delivery engine for QuoteWorks. This allows you to send your customer a link to their dynamic web page instead of just a static PDF document. So we're going to select our customer facing review. Go ahead and upload our document. And then we always want to preview before we send it to the customer before we send that link. So we'll choose preview. That'll open up the document for us to preview. And this is customizable where you could put your own banner, put your own logo, change colors, fonts, all of that. You'll see we still include a PDF version of the document so the customer can download a hard copy of it. But the really great part about Quote Valet is the document becomes interactive for the customer. When you have optional items, you'll see there's check boxes here and the customer can actually go through, deselect those, and those are deducted from the document total in real time. Additionally, you can even set it up where your customer can select and change quantities for all or specific items in your document. We also support multiple payment options, so you can set up credit card, ACH, PayPal, wire transfers, and a few other options so you can choose how the customer is going to make payment to you. 
Your customer can then sign electronically and you'll receive email notifications as your customer works through the process. So as they view the quote for the first time, as they post comments, as they electronically sign and accept, as they make payment, you'll receive notifications for all of that. If there's any additional documentation they need to include, they can actually share files here through this uploads area where they can actually upload files to be reviewed by the sales rep and you'll receive notifications for that. Or if they simply have questions about their document, they can actually post comments here in the document so all of the communication stays in a single spot. So everything looks good for the customer. So they can go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions, put in a PO number, add any notes. and then you need to simply sign off on the document and then click to accept. And then once the document's been accepted, you'll see the acceptance screen here. You'll receive an email notifying you that the document has been accepted. Additionally, if you have set up those payment options, the pay now button will be available for your customer so they can actually make payment via credit card in this example or ACH where they can actually put in their routing banking information. So it's up to you which payment options are available to the customer, but that's where they'll see it. If not, you can still receive payment as you normally would. Now, if we go back into QuoteWorks, now we need to update Zoho and let them know that the deal has been won. So the next time you open a document in QuoteWorks, QuoteValley will automatically check for any updates to see if the document has been won. If it has or anything's changed, you'll actually receive a notification that changes have been applied and when that happens, you'll be prompted to convert this quote to an order. So it'll automatically say, hey, customer signed off on that document. Do you wanna convert this quote to an order? And you simply click okay. That's how we close quotes in QuoteWorks. And this will automatically prompt you to update that deal in Zoho CRM that it has now been won and you can move forward with the ordering process. So we'll see here, going to close the Zoho deal as one. Stage is closed one. It's 100%, closing date is set as today, and then we'll click OK. And we update that deal as one in Zoho. And that's it. It's a really seamless and easy to use integration between QuoteWorks and Zoho CRM. For more information, or if you have additional questions about the Zoho CRM integration, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.